Alright people, welcome back. More cards for you. So guess what? Guess what? Blackwing's got another card. I... I have had it up to here with fucking Blackwing's getting shit. I know you can't see what here is, so you know it's just way super low, but... And it's just... This is the most supported archetype in all of fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. They bring back Crow, and it's just like, new card, new card. It seems like they get like a new card every set. This card is like, what, 2007, 2008, still getting shit. Almost 10 years later. Fucking ridiculous, man. They got so many goddamn cards. They won Worlds. They almost won Worlds a second time, which I don't think that's ever happened in Yu-Gi-Oh! where a deck wins Worlds twice in a row. Because usually it gets hit so hard that they, you know, they're just done. But not not Black Wings. Everybody loves them some Black Wings. And ugh, I, they were never, ever, ever my cup of tea. Like, I, I played Black Wings on Daily Duels, but I've never been like, oh, man, I love Black Wings. They're just, oh, 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 oh. no, never. But uh, they still keep on getting cards, keep on getting support, so we're going to go ahead and uh, look at this new Synchro Monster that they got and determine how good it is, whether they play and all that good stuff. Well, this is Assault Blackwing, so they're not Blackwings, now they're Assault Blackwings, and I think because I'm now they're, now they're, they're assaulting. They're assaulting my eyes by their presence of getting new support, so. Uh, I think it's Soheya, I don't think it's Sohaya, but it might be, because this I'm just Sohaya, uh, just the thought that this, <laughs> that this archetype keeps on getting support, okay, I'll stop. The early summer rain, like okay, that's kind of a really gay name. Card art's not bad though. It doesn't look like an early summer rain. It's rain with a thunder. Like that, that's an early summer rain. Like holy crap! Like that's like a, a early hurricane if anything. Like all right, uh, dark of course, wind beast of course. This is a synchro monster, as you can tell. Uh, effect monster. It is level five. Fifteen hundred attack. Attack isn't that high. Two thousand defense. Eh, that's those are kind of pitiful stats for a sync five. But all right. Uh, maybe with of course one tuner and one non tuner monster. So generic. All right. Uh, the effect reads: If this card is synchro summon using a black wing monster's material, it is treated as a tuner while face up on the field. Okay, well, it probably will be, and uh, being treated as a tuner, not bad, not bad. So it's a level five tuner that will allow you to. It'll become a tuner itself and allow you to maybe go into some more synchro summon shenanigans. So, okay. Uh, you can only use each of these effects of Assault, Black Queen, uh, the early summer rain once per turn. So, uh, one, each one of these effects can be used. So, that's great. I don't know why I specify that, but sure. Uh, the first effect is when this card is synchro summon, you can target one Assault, Black Queen, Monster, Yogura, and special summon it. Wow, that's, that's pretty powerful. So, uh, you. Summon this, and it'll go ahead and summon you back one of the previous Assault Black Wings that you use, like Rikiri and Chidori and stuff like that. So that's not that's not bad. So uh, uh, it's not out yet, and as soon as it'll come out as an actual card, and I'll call it and review it. There's, in the anime, uh, Crow actually made a level 12 Synchro Monster Black Wing, and uh, this is actually how he busted out, you know. Uh, you go ahead and summon this. It becomes a tuner, level uh, 5. Then you summon back your Assault Black Wings, which are generally level 7. 5 plus 7 is 12, so there you go. So very powerful, very powerful indeed. Uh, second effect is, during your main phase, this card is in your graveyard because it was sent there this turn. So uh, this turn, uh, with Synchro Summon, you can go ahead and banish one other of this card and special summon this card right back. So uh, if you go ahead and use this as a Synchro, and then you summon another, uh, and then you can go ahead and banish another one that's already in there to summon this back again. So it takes a little bit of setup. It's not the best effect, but... You know, maybe like mid late game, you could probably pull this off. So, uh, not only will they be able to synchro summon it into their level 12 uh, Black Wing Synchro Monster when they get it, but I'm not sure if you guys are subscribed to Age of channel. If you're not, uh, don't worry about it. You know, that's not the point. The point is, is that uh, Age of Nights actually uploaded a video where Black Wings, yes, Black Wings, made Quasar. Great. With this card, with the shenanigans with this card. Yes, they made Quasar. And. I not. I just. It makes me feel some type of way, man. It's just like, oh, great. So Black Wings can make Quasar now. Like I get it. He's one of the fucking signers and all. But like Crow, what the fuck are you doing making Quasar? Like that's definitely not you. You better fucking leave that to you. Say you better fucking sit down and be a damn cheerleader. Like, ugh, just I don't know. I just just the idea of Black Wings able to make Quasar just makes me sick to my stomach. And uh, it's all because of this card. It's a very powerful card. You want to go into your level 12 Synchro guy whenever it comes out? Sure. But when you start touching up on Quasar and shit, with Black Wings and shit, that's when I have to put my foot down. So no thank you, ma'am. So anyway, uh, pretty short one, but he has a lot of synergy. Some, uh, he's an enabler for future Synchro summon plays, so it's not bad. But uh, tell me what you guys think about Assault, Black Wing, uh, Sohaya, or Soheya, the... 
early summer reign. There's not going to be much of a title outside of just his name. I'll try to squeeze it in there. Put something. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. There is a ton of cards I know. And you guys are probably in the comment section below like, oh my god. You know, that uh, that the V-Jump had so many new cards. I know. And it's great. You know, we got uh, got a re uh, refresh. Because I was, I was kind of scraping the, the bottom of the barrel with these new cards. But... God, there's so many new cards review, definitely, definitely, and I, I promise you, because I know you guys are sitting on your edge of the seat, and you're like, Daniel, 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 there's a fucking Synchro Pendulum Monster, Daniel, I will get to it, like, I didn't want to push this out of the way, and the reason why this card is actually going up on Wednesday card review, because they're, I'm actually looking, uh, spoiler, Fake Card Friday is actually a Blackwing Monster, so, yeah, people start making fake cards for black wings when they continue to give support. We'll we'll go over that for fake card Friday. That's the reason why we're reviewing this card and card review on Wednesday. And then I promise you, I promise you, on Monday we will go ahead and look at that Nirvana. I promise you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. See you guys next week with some more card reviews, of course. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support.